that was the first decent iron shot so far on the second hole now after that glorious part but I've uh, started poorly out of the blocks after my um, nine day layoff from Unico because of NIST commitments and uh, so I've hit some balls like last Sunday at the range but didn't hit very well so I felt as if this was um, always going to be tricky to start with but uh, yeah first hole was awful but what a finish so I ended up with seven which is kind of the standard for me there and then I just took that six iron and the way I'd been playing my iron so far that was high risk and it's gone to precisely where I wanted it to go so that's good so maybe I'm picking up already So that was a beauty after the quick insect break to refocus um it looked like it well it looked like it was about 10 feet from the pin and then uh just rolled and rolled to the left so that was that was a shame that it didn't stop but um yeah good so the iron strikes are back already at this early stage of the round
was a lovely drive, pretty much dead straight. Caddy thinks that it might be nearly on, I couldn't see quite, but I knew it was going straight. But good putt on the last hole, nice long 30 footer to two feet. So my average putting so far is 1.5. Hopefully I can keep that up. But um, yeah, it's good because I'm only two over after the first two holes, which is probably just average. It's certainly not worse than average. So, uh, oh, I've just seen the ball. It's about, I don't know, maybe about 10 feet from the hole. So a chance of the opening part of the day. Chance. So it was my first part of the day, but you'll notice on the video that I started walking because I actually thought, not so much the direction, I actually thought I'd hit it way too hard because I'm trying to compensate for the uh, temporary green. And uh, it turned out that the pace was fine, but I started walking so I just thought, oh god, that's gone way past. And it was what, about a foot and a half or something? And. Um, maybe only a foot. So first par down to plus one. Now try to get this drive correct on the fourth because I haven't done it recently I've ended up over the trees. So anyway already enjoying the round. Well, that felt absolutely terrible. So I would say it came off the toe. And at first I thought, oh Christ, I've topped it into the water. But I think it went dead straight. And it's in a perfect position. Well to the right, I mean, before I've been going left, now it's to the right, but nowhere near any danger. And it's on the fairway. And it's probably not even gonna be a hundred yards in. I might be a hundred yards in. It's really, really good, but just felt dreadful. <laughs> and so it'd be interesting for me to watch this back because it's gone very nicely. At least I didn't pussyfoot. The caddy reckons it was 120. So I took the eight and I think I am hitting that more than 120 at the moment. More like what I used to get at Chelsea or 130. And sometimes more, I mean, I caught that pretty well. Direction wasn't too good, but um, at least no bunker. 
no water. Um, yeah, but it did go rather fast, so she reckons it's midnight over. I reckon it could be a lot more than that, because I was playing down there last time as well. Oh well. Hardly any wind at that moment and uh, almost decided to go against my normal choke down pitching wedge. I haven't used a sand wedge on this one for a while now. And uh, yeah, just left it to the Timothy Galway self two and uh, just, I think it landed just on the edge of the green, a bit of sort of sand kicked up. It's on the green and it's, it's very good. Uh, it felt almost a bit touch and go, but it was the right club in the end, so that's good.
side pin did I? It's another lovely straight drive though, my goodness. So that's good. Just getting it right at the moment. Um, yeah, lousy birdie putt just now. Had it lined up and <laughs> that was just rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Nowhere near straight from the off, so I think that was a, a tentative one. But uh, still, back down to evens after five holes, which is good. Apparently it's a side pin, didn't I? It's another lovely straight drive though, my goodness. So that's good, just getting it right at the moment. Um, yeah, lousy birdie putt just now, had it lined up and <laughs> that was just rubbish, <laughs> rubbish. Nowhere near, straight from the off, so I think that was a, a tentative one. But uh, still, back down to evens after five holes, which is good. So after six holes now, I'm one under, and that is fantastic. It's just really good because that four foot putt just now over rough terrain needed to be firm, and I got it. So I'm delighted with that. I was just thinking how, um, however brilliant the week was at NIST, and I was the star, according to Wynn, and my outstanding classroom management skills according to Narwin. It's just lovely to be out here for a change after five days solid work including last Friday. This is blissful. Back to my normal life.
It's so fascinating how you get a feel for shots, not just because you played a certain hole or a certain shot over and over again, but you just settle over the ball. And just like Timothy Galway says, you don't you don't think anymore. You just it talks about awareness and you're just sort of aware, you let yourself body go, swing, follow through, do everything right and don't have thoughts about water, going too long, going too short, just think of swing thoughts and the result is bang on the green, you know, 10, 15 foot short of the pin, but another good chance for a putt. Might even be 20 foot actually. But I'm not splitting hairs on this lovely day, but it is boiling hot. It's going to look interesting on the video because I hit it a fair distance and for the first time ever on this hole not only did I not go into that channel there but it was the one on the left hand side and it wasn't even a scuff shot or anything so I just completely got it wrong and the second shot went precisely where I was trying to hit the first one so just one of those things got it completely and utterly wrong it wasn't even the ball sort of i don't think hooked or anything there was no weird flight it just went straight over that way as if i twisted at the wrong time or was just misaligned so i'll see that from the video but it was just yeah complete surprise so now in three i'm yeah normally where i should be in one but still, uh, that's, yeah, that was a real surprise. Great pity, but now to try and make up for it.
that easily goes down as shot of the day because after buggering up the first drive it's probably not the time to take the high risk club which I keep miss hitting on fairways and this time I thought no you can't keep on backing out of using a certain club and that had just the most beautiful sound to it metallic clank but clean as well and I'm now in precisely the sort of position I'd like to be off three shots and now I'm there in four shots so I don't feel that I've really lost much I've lost a shot now so um yeah an absolute beauty enjoyed that lob wedge as well. I mean it was a bit short but seeing as it was only about 20 foot from the pin it gave me a chance off the fringe there and uh, it was 40 yards just down the shaft a bit felt pretty confident even though I had nothing to go over and again the right club probably so pretty good. Only one drop shot. even though it's gone well past the pin. That felt like one of the best strikes of the day. It just had this lovely spongy feel as it connected with the ball. It just flew really high, so it showed a, like a fully committed shot. Um, but yeah, it's gone about headed towards Patia, but stayed on the green.
dip in for a change. Lovely. What a lovely surprise when that lipped in <laughs> because it felt like a really good putt from the moment I hit it I just just felt right I just seven foot dead straight just felt good felt that I hit it well and then it was clearly just slightly off to the left and so I had to do a bit of a lip but it lipped in after the 35 foot putt previously um, didn't take into account how much I was going downhill it just kept rolling so that's a lovely par to start off the back nine and go back to two under bogey par so that's very nice So for the first time, I'm taking the nine iron on here. I always take an eight and I over hit it. So let's see what the result is with a nine. Will it be under hit or about right? We shall see. Very little wind.
flew beautifully with the fully committed shot and even though it's probably some distance from the pin it went nicely cleanly over the bunker which is the only troubling thing on this green on this hole and uh, yeah another long putt but very nice to see that the 99 is probably going to be the club to use in future to avoid overhitting and interestingly it's a front pin and I have overhit anyway but not by too much because it's on the fringe at the back so that's good. I should get a power out of this one. I'm normally quite good from an inch. Yes. Got it. The one inch putt for par. That's another complete misalignment on this hole. I thought I was aiming the right way. I tend to pull it left on this. And I've done it again. And the only times that I didn't do it, I was aiming well right. But today I just felt that I was hitting straight and just pulled it. It's 
Pin high, eh? Oh, sorry. Pin all low. Squelch, squelch. It's a delicious par because my initial shot, which I thought was pretty dreadful, turns out that it was completely and utterly Kunawu. And then the little chipper, and then seven foot, must be the third time I've had seven foot putt today, goes straight in. So I'm delighted with that. Good recovery. After that glorious seven foot putt, it was tempting to have another go with the three hybrid on this hole, but I thought if I caught it as well as I did on the last one, it's gonna go over. So I opted for the five hybrid and it was a beautiful shot, beautiful flight direction. And sure enough, it's short of the green, but short is good on this hole especially if it's not short and in the bunker. So, um, yeah, it's in a good position to chip up. And the other, the other three hybrid would probably have gone, gone beyond the green, so it would have made it harder. So I think it was the right option.
Thank God that went in. That would have been a real wasted opportunity for a par. So, um, yeah, two to go. Doing pretty well. So, quick break. Um, Two holes, holes to play, and I'm five over. It's 12:25. I barely thought about missed. It just shows how um, focused you are. Even you know, missed having had a really, really good week and everything's fine. I've just switched completely back into Unico. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the game. Complete focus. Just fantastic. bit short today but um, at least I'm on the green and if I can follow the directions to Siayutia Temple I should be able to get somewhere near the pin as long as I don't make the turning for Patia. I'll translate that I'm some distance from the pin despite being on the green would say it could be a 50 footer coming up. <laughs> Call to prayer, helping out. I felt religiously certain that even though I don't believe in him or her, Allah was going to help out. And Allah did. Or didn't. I'm just looking at this wonderful uh, monitor lizard that I just ran across. 
wonder if I could capture it. it must have slipped back into the water. But yeah, that, that was, um, well, for me, an absolutely perfect ride. It's gone right in the center of the fairway, carried long, just lovely. If I could do that every time, if I might be able to cope with places like Royal Golf with the distance. But um, yeah, so it's been a good round. Really, really enjoyed it. And the time has completely and utterly disappeared. But I am looking forward to getting in the cool and having Coke on ice. After that previous wonderful three hybrid shot, I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. And that's probably the worst shot of the day in terms of, I don't remember another shot, even when I lost the ball off the tee with the driver, at least I connected really well, just went the wrong way. That was the first time I've, or well, first time since the first hole that I've actually not connected properly. So that was completely useless. Um, but on this hole, you can do okay, even with one useless shot. So there's still a chance of um, rectifying that. So all is not lost. It's just a shame that my three hybrid record today is one perler, one howler, which equals back to the drawing board. What a seven iron, look at that. Gives me a bird and putt after that hour. After that hopeless birdie attempt, which to be honest wasn't helped by the fact that in front of my vision as I played the shot, a butterfly went across. So hopefully we'll see that on the video, because I'm not one for making excuses, but a butterfly did cross my vision. It might have been a bit of a flinch there. But anyway, after that howler with the three hybrid, to then get down in um, three with the seven iron which was I think six foot from the hole which was I mean that must with the first hybrid and that particular shot with the seven iron which was the only seven iron I did today they were the shots of the day really I mean there to get to 
six foot from the pin from a fairly inauspicious position. It was wonderful. So the round is six under bogey par, which is a round of 73. So with my first ever Sing Lemon, which is pretty good, I can tell you that I had 16 holes with no drop shots today. So today I've got 9 pars, 7 bogey pars, 1 ball lost to water, 34 parts. So 16 holes with no drop shots. So overall pretty good. Three putted three times today, but they were all from a long distance, and there was a lip out amongst those. Um, but looking back to that first hole, that's the one I really want to see on the video. 25 foot at a time when I really needed it after a really lousy start. And um, yeah, lovely ending to the week. A week in which I really got into being at NIST. Fantastic, everything went so well. And uh, whatever happens from now on, at least I know that even a full week, a full week near enough, can be really good. And um, yeah, this period of my life is taking off nicely now. And especially after not playing golf for a while, then coming back and starting pretty poorly, but I often do. And then uh, hanging in there and getting a really good score, 73, 12 over actual par. So playing pretty much to my handicap, maybe two worse than it really, but within range. And um, yeah, really, really good. So hopefully I'll be able to play a couple of times next week.